Greetings from Lower Alabama. This is your old redneck friend Todd coming at you again from the front porch. This is going to be pretty much the spot of choice for the next, uh, well, it's going to be a little while. I got the back porch torn up. It was in a really sad state of repair when we got here, so, you know, something's got to be done. Um, so, let's just jump straight to the point. Hope everybody's going to have a great fourth. I'm, I'm going to work hard on that. Tonight on tap, we have the um, It's Left Hand Milk Stout. This one's pushed with nitro. Generally speaking, I am not the biggest fan of cans uh, being pushed with nitro. I prefer them with CO2 unless I'm out. Now, if I'm in, if I'm in a bar and the guys uh, girls, whoever's running the bar knows how to push, knows how to run the nitro tap, you know, that's always a good thing. Good grief. That's good. This is an old favorite of mine. Has been for a long time. Um, this is another one I picked up on the way home from work today. I, I did a little work this morning. Worked till, you know, 12:30 or so. Stopped off at Rouse's. It's a local grocery store chain down here on the Gulf Coast, and they have a great build your own six pack selection. And I've been stuck on IPAs of late because it's that time of year, and there's so many. So I was reaching A for something different, and B for something I know I like, and I know I like that one. They're just delicious. Uh, you know, this is one of the things from that I've got to get better at, you know, is covering all my bases before I sit down here and start recording, but I'm still kind of new at this. Uh, this one is 6% Left Hand Milk Stout uh, is brewed by Left Hand Brewing. They are in Colorado, and but they cover, this is not a small brewery, they cover the vast majority of the United States. I mean, I'm down here in lower Alabama and they're, you know, Colorado. So, you know, I'd have to think that pretty much wherever you are, you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. There are two versions of this. This is this happens to be the nitro version. There is a, a standard version that's pushed with CO2. Uh, I actually prefer that one, but I, I, I do love this one as well. Oh, this one's so good. Uh, being a milk stout, it's going to be a sweet stout. They add lactose to the uh, uh, to the wort. Goes into the fermenter. Gives the yeast a little something extra to work on. Uh, it adds a little bit of sweetness and some depth and some richness to it. Uh, this has all of those. It's chocolatey. There's no chocolate in it, but it's nutty. It's, you know, it's like dark toast. Uh, the, it's smoky. It's malty. It's all of those things because of the dark roasted malts. It's really lightly hopped, so, you know, there's very little bittering going on here. Ah. It's just great. I, I haven't had one of these in quite a while, and I, I don't understand why. It's on the shelf all the time. I mean, it's not, it's not stout season. You know, we're into the, it's summer. Let's face it. If you live where I live, it's friggin' hot. It's humid. Belly full of heavy, dark beers, you know, on a hot summer day is generally not a good plan. Uh, I recognize that, uh, I've done it, and it doesn't end well. So, you know, you tend to stick with the lighter, crisper stuff, the IPAs and, uh, you know, some ambers. Curlsh is always a good option. Got a couple of those coming up on the channel in the next few days. Um, let me go back to this.
You know, the nitro certainly makes a nice creamy head. Look, it clings to the glass. The bubbles are really tiny, but you know, it's carbonated well regardless. I mean, it, you can definitely feel the carbonation. Uh, and this one coats the tongue. It's got great mouthfeel. I could ramble on about this beer forever because I love it so much. Um, I really don't know what else to say good about it. I'm not going to say anything bad about it because I like it. Did I empty the can? Yes, I did. So I think we've covered all our bases. It's, it's 6%, which is reasonably sessionable. Uh, you know, so it's not it's not too heavy, even though it is a, a bigger, bolder. It's a little bit sweet, not very hoppy. Uh, but it doesn't sit too heavy. You know, some of these big stouts, you know, they'll they sit there like a ton of bricks. This one really isn't that bad. I'm gonna sit here and finish this thing before I do the finish the review. Man. And top it off, my neighbor. He's got the grill going. It smells great. But anywho, uh, I think I've gone on long enough about this. If you see this out, and you should, regardless of where you are, it's just delicious. Um, if you're new to the craft beer scene, I would venture to say that this is a good jumping off point if you're interested in, in uh, trying something, uh, you know, new and bolder and a little heavier this is a great place to start yeah it, it's not in, it's not too intense like an imperial might be so by all means give it a shot if you don't like it i bet one of your friends will but anyway i hope everybody has a great fourth of july uh, i hope everybody enjoys themselves responsibly that's a big talking point here on the channel so i'll close this thing down and say it once again please enjoy your adult malted beverages responsibly this is your old redneck friend todd i am out